Hi guys, welcome to my SSC Mathematics series from Zero to Guru. Today I'm going to explain how you can convert bicimal to decimal and decimal to bicimal. In my first video on number base, I explained that the standard base are uh, base 10, also one of the uh, most common base a number base system is base two. So when you have a number in base two, so when you have a number in base two, we call it binary number. For example, one zero one base two is a binary number. So, but if you have another number in base two which is in decimal form, so we call it bicimal. You understand now that is a binary number having a decimal point. You understand now. So likewise, like I've said, the decimal number is the number in base 10 and binary in base 10. So how do you now convert number of this form, which is in bicimal, that is a number in decimal point, to base 10 and vice versa? That's what I'm going to teach you today. So let me give you an example. For example... If you have convert 101.10 base 2 to decimal, don't forget you follow the same approach. So you know the first step is to what? Is to mark this number. So, but you are going to start here. You have 0, 1, 2 here, and this will be minus 1, minus 2. You understand now? So if you now take the number one by one, Consider the fact that you are working on base 2, that you are going to have 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 1, 1 times 2 raised to power 0 plus 1 times 2 raised to power minus 1 plus 0 times 2 raised to power minus 2. So this one is going to give me 1 multiplied by 4. So then plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 divided by 2. So when we get to indices, I'm going to explain this more for you. 2 raised by minus 1 will give you 1 over 2. So then plus 0. Any number multiplied by 0 will give you 0. So then this will give me what? So then I have 4 plus 0 plus 1 plus half. So which will give me five and a half, which is empty now as 5.5 base 10. You can see it is easy. That's how you convert a bicimal number to a decimal form. So don't forget what changes there is the your fractional part here. You start marking them from minus one, so and so on like that. So then how do I convert this 5.2 again? You know this is a decimal now. How do I convert it back to a bicimal? Don't forget a bicimal is a number in what base? So it's a number in a, it's a decimal number in base two. It is simple. What you have to do is to what? Is to first of all con convert your uh, integer part. So that is the whole number part. You have to convert it to base 10 first. So you have to convert that to base. Uh, let us convert it to base 10. And I have how many two are you going to see in five? That's two remainder one, two and two, one remainder zero, two and one, zero remainder one. So then you write it backwardly, you have one, zero, one. So, but for the fractional parts, we have to convert it again to base two. You know, you have 0 0.5. So this is like when you have five plus 0 0.5. So it means the fractional part is 0 0.5. Then you are now going to multiply this by two. Instead of dividing repeatedly until you have zero. So, for example, now if I have two multiplied by 0 0.5, you know this is 0 0.1. So, you are now going to write the integer part here, you bring it up here. So, and you change this number to the zero. You understand now? So, you know, if I, when I brought this one here, it means I have 0 0.0 here left. Then you are still going to multiply that 0 0.0 by 0. .0, by zero then you have zero. So you can see that you have zero here. The moment you have zero here, you are going to stop. 
but you are going to write that you are going to copy it from what from up down not from not downwardly so then that will give you point one zero so if you combine it together with what we have before then you can conclude adequately that your 5.5 .5 is 10 will give you 101.10 so which is something we have here before i hope you understand you can do this for all other bases too if you understand it please go to your past question and solve the one that is related to this don't forget to click on subscribe button and invite your friends to like and subscribe to my channel too so far so good so memorable thank you